Hi everyone! In today's video, we are making black olives tapenade and basil pesto. Mm. I am Paula Romero and I'm gonna share with you simple ways to cook good food. Black olive tapenade is a savory paste made with black olives, capers, lemon juice, anchovies. And don't twist your nose to the anchovies, okay? Give them a chance. This spread is fantastic. Let me show you the ingredients. Black olives, lemon juice, capers, our dear anchovies, garlic paste, fresh parsley, thyme, olive oil, salt and pepper. Let's get started! So I'm going to start with the olives, capers, and the thyme, one tablespoon of lemon juice, the garlic paste, and the anchovies. Man, anchovies are such a nice ingredient you know like when you go to the restaurant and you like that nice Caesar dressing salad what is in it anchovies you know when you like have you ever had the uh, puttanesca sauce that you said man this sauce has something in there that I don't know what it is anchovies so don't twist your nose to, to the anchovies in this paste because it's gonna be fantastic you might not even notice that there are anchovies in there and it's completely different the taste when you add the anchovies when you do not. So trust me on this one. So we're gonna pulse this all together. And then with the processor running, we're gonna pour slowly the olive oil. Let me scrape the sides of the bowl. Let me taste it because both anchovies and the capers are salty. So before you add the salt and pepper, it's nice to also give this a try. Mm, I'm getting so good. For my taste, it needs a little bit more salt and pepper. So now we add the parsley and a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper and pulse it again. And you know, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more of lemon juice. Mm. I think it's ready. Nice. Now, let's move on to the basil pesto. Basil pesto is so simple to make. All you have to do is blend all the ingredients together in a food processor or a blender. Let me show you what are the ingredients. Basil leaves, extra virgin olive oil, pine nuts, parmesan cheese, garlic paste, salt and pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the basil leaves. The 
pine nuts. If you don't like pine nuts or what you feel have available it's walnuts, that's fine. The parmesan cheese. I actually want to start, just give a pulse on this one first. And then we add the, re the remaining of the ingredients. Done. Now I'm gonna come with the parmesan cheese. Some salt. And black pepper. Oh, and the garlic. And we're gonna pulse it again. And with the processor running, we're gonna go uh, pour in the olive oil very slowly. Okay, I'm gonna just scrape the sides of the, the bowl. And just give this a try. Mm. So good. Pesto is one of my favorite things in the whole world. Basil pesto darkens when exposed to air so to store them uh, just wrap them tightly with plastic wrap uh, making sure that it touches the pesto so that way it will remain greener longer or you can also freeze them because they freeze very well that's it And this is it! Tapenade is a great appetizer that you can have it with pita chips or on a piece of bread. Uh, pesto with pasta, obviously, my favorite type of sauce, by the way. <laughs> I also like it, uh, drizzle them over grilled chicken or grilled fish as a spread for sandwiches or simply also on a piece of bread. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. If you like it, this video, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. It helps a lot when you do and I really appreciate that. So, see you next time. Bye.